Um, of course, President Biden has stepped down as the Democratic nominee. And then, you know, within 24 hours, um, Vice President Kamala Harris was actually put as the nominee for the Democrats. Mm -hmm. And so this election is getting real wild, you guys. Like real wild. Things are coming left and right. We're like. I don't know. I'm I'm actually kind of excited for all the drama that's happening, but you I'm know I'm here for it. <laughs> it's it's Let's also go. it's also a little scary. So um I, I know you guys have a lot to say on it. Can I hear what you guys, you know, are well wh what you're thinking? So I would say that after the assassination attempt of Trump, and it was an assassination attempt, but these people that are trying to say it wasn't are just out of their mind. He did they did try to kill him. He had the lead, in my opinion, when it came out to like right. the the voice of what's going to happen in this country. Mm -hmm. I would say if Joe Biden did not step down, it was just going to be a, a <clears throat> you know a landslide victory. Joe Biden decides to step down, and in my opinion, this is just mine. So you can kill me if you want, but it's okay. No, I feel like that. no. What is <laughs> for the opinions of people? Because you, okay. you know I don't care what people say. Okay. I, I care if it's something serious, right? Um, but I mean that for my serious. with my opinion, <laughs> with my opinion, like of, of something, right. I think that when Joe Biden stepped down, and a lot of people were not fond of Kamala Harris, but now you have to pay attention to the fundraising dollars, and for her to hit 126 million in like three days is astronomical. And that's something that the Republican Party, they need to be very aware of because that's an energy that's coming from somewhere else. Right. And it reminds me a little bit of uh, Barack Obama when he went. The energy just went crazy when Hillary Clinton went against Trump and she won up the, the popular vote. What I did notice before the election, I'm like, man, you know what? Twitter is for the people. X is what it's called now. Okay. And at that time, Twitter had, when Trump would say something, let's say 50 million views of something he would say. When Hillary Clinton would say something, it'd be like 12. And I was like, you know, that's kind of interesting for the, the people's platform. They're really galvanizing to what Trump is saying. I see that switching right now with uh, Kamala Harris. I just see her right now in such of a driver's seat. It's going to be difficult for them to uh, obliterate her on some of these issues because she was not running the country. She's the vice president. Hmm. The power that she has is not of the president. And they're going to talk about the border. They're going to talk about when she was attorney general. But, man, she is she's ready for it. And the Republicans, what are they going to do? Well, I know one thing. Um, This is the first time I've ever seen a actual candidate pull out of a race so close in the time of the election right it's the first time i've ever seen this in my whole life he so he didn't have any other choice it was it was very it was very shocking very shocking it was very shocking he didn't have any other choice than to do so and i am on the side of being like oh my god i'm so excited we have a new democratic nominee yes for this election yeah. i'm so excited like it gives me like hope before there was no hope, you know, everyone mm. kind of knew what way the election was going. And now I feel like it's an actual election, actual race. We're going to see what happens. Unfortunately, we're not going to see that um, debate, which I was really excited to see. But that's OK. Because he backed out. That's what I'm saying. But that's OK. <laughs> Your boy said that black magic. I don't know what to do yet. <laughs> I'm like seeing but all kinds of videos though on, Com on uh, Vice President Kamala Harris. And I'm just like. Oh my gosh, I have like a whole newfound respect for her though because yeah. of all the things that are popping out about her. Oh my gosh. I got a question about that. So you don't have to do a debate? I thought that was something that you have to like as candidates it's, you got to do. I don't know. For I, don't, the, I don't think for that the you people that I don't are think actually, that you have to do a debate, but I think for you to win the wow. no, win the nomination of the the president of the United States you want to get out there for the American people. They want to see you go against, mm. you know, you know, your opponent and see where do you stand? Because it was like when Mitt Romney went against Barack Obama the first time, Barack Obama was not energized and he lost the first debate and he got killed. The second time he went, he was on fire and it changed the whole landscape of his, you know, his presidency to get to become the president. I just think that right now it reminds me of like an NBA team like the Celtics. You had, what was the coach that got fired from the Celtics a while Ima Udoka. Okay, so he gets let go, right? And when he gets let go, the interim coach comes, steps forward, right? No one thought anything about him, but he's the coach. No one cared. He steps up, they win a championship. What I'm saying is that in this case, 
Kamala Harris was on a side, like an interim coach. Biden's out the way, and I think that's what's going to happen. I just don't see the movement for Trump, for MAGA being as strong to just defeat what's happening with Kamala Harris right now. Because you have MAGA, and then you have conservatives. We shall see. I don't know. Well, that's everybody a conservative huge... isn't MAGA. I know. I don't know. Yeah, we're, I, don't we're, know exactly, I don't know exactly if I agree see. with you on that one. What, I, what part? The part where you where like there's not enough MAGA and conservative people to fight against the Democratic. Well, they lost. So they they lost against Joe Biden. So that he can lose. It's MAGA conservative. What I'm saying, I don't think they have enough juice. Mm. MAGA by themselves because he already lost to Joe Biden. Mm. So how is he going to get more MAGA? How is he going to get more? He got assassination he lost, Are you saying he lost four years ago? Well, he he lost he he lost to Joe Biden four years ago. Joe Biden became the president after Trump. Yeah, but that's what I'm asking you. He lost four years. Well, ago? What I'm saying is, I don't see him getting more people to beat this source of energy that's happening with the Democratic Party. Okay. I think if you're that's MAGA, why he got you're already sneakers. in it. That's why he coming out as assassination sneakers. I, well, he, boots. You know, I talk to a lot of young people, right? I meet a lot of young people, and I, and I ask them, say, hey, so you know, you're 18, you're 19, who are you voting for? And I would say 90% of them, like, I have no idea. Yeah. They're not politically inclined to either party. They don't know what's going on. They're either going to vote how their parents are voting. So what I mean by, like, I don't see MAGA bringing on more people, I just don't see that happening. I just think if people are going to decide, they might decide, I think I'm going to vote for the first you know, I mean, person of color, a woman. That's also, we live in California. I mean, that, right. there's a lot of other states that don't feel or think that way i'm sure so the I, climate is different in georgia well i'm from Kentucky mississippi i know it's different Alabama? Red State, yeah 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 very I different know. i think i i think that they're a very strong um community well I, maybe you don't understand what i'm saying I, uh texas is a red state very strong mississippi louisiana what i'm saying is as of right now and what has transpired after trump got shot which i thought he was going to win then biden steps down kamala harris steps up and now i think they're going to win I just don't see the the conservative or the I don't say conservative the MAGA just bringing in more people. I just don't see that happening. I, I That's think, what I'm saying. I'm talking specifically what, MAGA, not conservative. I think what Junior is trying to allude to is the momentum has shifted. He feels the yeah, momentum. Yeah, I agree. Has the shifted. momentum has shifted. Yeah, and he feels like that momentum won't shift back. For, for yeah, I don't think momentum exactly. Better words will shift towards MAGA to what's happening culturally with Kamala Harris. Is yeah. what I'm saying. We'll, we'll see. We'll see it come yeah, November. Of course. We'll, we'll see. We're going to all November. see. We'll see. <laughs> we're going to all sure. see. It's, it's interesting uh, what's happened. We've seen an assassination attempt. We've seen a president step down. This is crazy. There's a couple more months. What else are we going to see out here? Well, yeah. Now we got to see who's going to be the VP. Oh, yeah. She hasn't selected that just yet, huh? No. no. I, I know a lot of people want uh, Budacic. Okay. Um, so I've heard that rumored. So we'll see who she has up her sleeve. What state? Buttigieg is what, what Pete, state? Pete Buttigieg. What oh, Pete. Uh, I'm not sure what state. What, what state is Pete? Is he what, what a swing what state? state? Let's see what state Pete is. Because with. if I was Kamala Harris, I would pick, you know, the governor of a swing state. That's what I would do. Like the the one in Arizona. He you was the what, astronaut. You know I and I think he'd be a great choice. You know what I think why I'm a little hesitant about your opinion from earlier is because people are being more in the MAGA community. People are being more vocal about what they have to say. I think that they're like, well... It doesn't matter that Trump lost um, a couple years ago. Like, we're going to go hard and go for him now. Um, and they're just being more vocal. Like, even there was a senator doing um, a rally, and it was for, I think, J.D. Vance. Yeah. Right? And yeah, he's, this senator said something real crazy, you guys. Which he, is now Trump's vice presidential yeah. candidate. candidate. Yes, yes, yes. He said something real crazy um, offering him before introducing him on stage. He's like, basically, he's all, well, if this is a, if they want a civil war, like we're ready and we have Trump on our side and and we'll see what happens and we'll fight for this civil war aye, for it aye, to happen. Aye. So for him to say that and for him to feel comfortable to say that in front of like millions of people around right. the world, I just feel like that is they're bringing in more people and then also they're like more okay to say things out loud 
for mm. him to say that in front of a television, you right. know, you don't camera, think, you don't think they've crazy. always been outspoken? I feel like the Republican nobody party has nobody nobody would have said that before. You don't just, think so? Just to get back to where uh, Pete Buttigieg is actually the United States Secretary of Transportation. He was the mayor of South Bend, Indiana, known as Mayor Pete. Yeah, mayor Pete. there you go. Oh man. So it's, it's, it's scary. That's scary, though. That's scary that somebody would say that, like, out loud. I think they're saying that out loud because they're nervous. Yeah. Start a civil yeah. war. I mean, I think mm. they're really nervous. Like, for one, uh, Trump isn't afraid of anybody. You have to give him that respect. Like, he's going to go at it. He's, he's tough as nails. So for him to back out of a debate, that's just... That's just weird for me. I, why would you back out of a debate? Because he's with scared. Com- he's that's scared. what I'm saying, like... Why would you back out? She, she, like, are, you, they just weren't prepared. She if, would win that debate. She, <laughs> she would, would win the win debate. debate. That's what I'm saying. I mean, just, just think about it. You're going into a debate with a lawyer. That's not good. That's just not good. That's She's not, a lawyer. That's not good. <laughs> Her husband's a lawyer. Yeah, well, I mean, bro, they, they I'll, argue I'll put, about. I'll put it to you like this: yeah. You're going into a debate with a lawyer, and you can't even answer questions. I'll just leave it there. Man, this is. I'll just leave it there. This is interesting. I'm the first debate is gonna be like Super Bowl numbers. It's gonna be sick. I mean, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, it will be. And look at and look be. at the internet. Just look at what's happening online. It's either no. Go I was gonna say. So you said that he was not going to do a debate. So I, how many debates are there for I've the seen, presidential candidates? For my, know, is it? I thought it was like. Three or something. I've but seen I could between. Be wrong. I seen between. I think maybe two or three. So, so he's just saying he's not going to do this one, but the ones coming maybe in months to come. He he'll said do. that. He said it's know. important. Uh, you know that. You know, if you're going to be the president, to bait. So I, I, okay. I know that he's going to do it. It's just for him to back it down right now. He's going to have to convince the American people that she was so bad at the border. Uh, that she was putting people of color in prison when she was the attorney general in California. She's, they're going to have to do something like that to hit. And I just don't think it's going to hit. I mean, he's already he, saying real crazy stuff he, about her. Yeah, ex- exactly. They're talking about her having cats and stuff like that. A and childless not having, not, woman. Childless woman with the cats. It's like, bro, they're, you it's, know what it it's makes desperate, me think of. man. I just don't see it. It makes me think of what they say about politicians. Like, he's probably like, you know, this is just what they say. He's looking for lies. You know how, like, when, <laughs> they, they, when, when the politicians, don't, they got to find enough lies about you so they can go at you. That's it's what like, Al Jones said. He, he was like, man, they, they're just, they're digging right now. Yeah, so so I guess they're digging, you know, uh, October's not enough digging time, so. Well, I mean, she dated Mon- Montel, what's his name, Montel, that had the, uh, uh, I love that. I love that she dated him. Is it Montel Williams? Yeah. Montel Williams. Yeah. Had the talk show. Yeah. Not Montel 90s. Jordan. This is yeah, how we do please it. Don't, please this don't say This is Mont- how we do it. <laughs> Not Montel Jordan. Montel shout Ray. out to Montel Jordan, oh, who was in LA doing a concert last weekend. Shout out to you. Man. Shout out to Montel Williams. One of the best shows ever. Shout out to Montel Williams for <laughs> for um, having her back on all these people exactly. saying crazy things about her on the yeah. internet right now. And he goes out and says, you know, she was like a classy lady and she was a good she's a good friend of mine. And I'm happy he stuck up for her. Yeah. Good for him. That's crazy. man. Good for him. Imagine one of your like exes becomes the That's presidential crazy. candidate. You guys. That is crazy. None of mine will be. Would it be? <laughs> <laughs> None of mine would be. <laughs> At all, Missy? No, no. <laughs> None oh, of them. Oh, 